In this video, I will be demonstrating a new capability to create a love lists in Amazon Macy and highlighting the enhancements to the service which help to better identify sensitive data. Amazon Macy is a fully managed data security and data privacy service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover and help you protect your sensitive data in AWS. The data that is available within your AWS account can grow rapidly, which increases your need to verify that all sensitive data is identified and protected. Macy provides you with the ability to use both managed data identifiers and custom data identifiers but enabling these identifiers for every job could result in a large number of security findings that may not take into account how data is used within your AWS account. So that you can tailor the detection and creation of findings within Macy, the service now has an allow list feature available for use within your scanning jobs. The allow list feature can help your sensitive data management team by reducing false positives due to text data or formats in your environment that do not require any action. This makes it easier for the team to focus on Macy findings that need to be reviewed and remediated. By increasing the overall confidence in findings presented by Macy, you can improve the performance of automated workflows and solutions. Macy has also enhanced the machine learning models used by managed data identifiers in order to produce more accurate and actionable findings when inspecting JSON data in your Amazon S3 buckets. The accuracy of the machine learning models is further enhanced by extracting additional context from surrounding fields in JSON data and JSON line files. This improvement also reduces processing times for these types of files, which means that your sensitive data discovery jobs will finish more quickly. Let us now proceed with the demo. Let us first create an allow list in Macy. Here we have an active AWS account with Amazon Macy enabled. In the AWS console, navigate to Amazon Macy. Under settings, choose allow lists. Click on the create button. Select a list type. You can configure allow lists with either regular expressions or predefined text. Use a predefined text allow list if you have a list of specific values you want to exclude. For example, like a list of sample names or employee IDs that are used in test datasets. Alternatively, if you do not have the exact values but know the pattern to exclude, you can use a regular expression or regex allow list. If you are creating a regex allow list, choose regular expression. For list settings, enter the following settings for the allow list. Enter the name of the allow list. Enter an optional description for the list. For regular expression, enter the regex that defines a text pattern to ignore. Macy supports a subset of the regex pattern syntax provided by the Perl compatible regular expressions library. This is a regex pattern for the United States social security number. Macy will not create findings for any matches on the allow list regex. Macy provides an evaluate option so you can test your regex against sample datasets to make sure it is working as expected. Evaluate with sample data 
if needed to test your regex. Click on create to create the regex allow list. If you are creating a predefined text allow list, restart the process by clicking on create and select predefined text. For this option, you should create a file with the allowed values defined in the file. Here is a sample allow list file with fake data for zip codes. This file has already been uploaded to the Amazon S3 bucket. Once the file is uploaded, you can then reference the S3 object in the allow list. Enter the name of the list. Enter an optional description for the list. Next, enter the S3 bucket name that contains the list. Enter the full name of the S3 object that contains the list. Click on create to create the allow list. More information and explanation for the status of the allow list can be found in the Amazon Maisy user guide. Next, we will see how to use an allow list in a Maisy scan. After you create allow lists, you can create and run sensitive data discovery jobs in Maisy. This will enable you to review analyze and compare findings about the affected resources in S3 buckets both with and without allow lists. In the navigation pane of the Amazon Macy summary page, select jobs and then click on create job. On the choose S3 buckets page, choose select specific buckets. Under Select S3 Buckets, optionally choose Refresh to retrieve the latest bucket metadata from Amazon S3. In the table below, select each bucket you want the job to analyze. Here, we select a bucket which already has a file with sample confidential data. Then click on Next. Review and optionally adjust the list of S3 buckets that you selected for the job. Once done, click on Next. Refine the scope of the job if needed. Use the settings to specify how often you want the job to run and the depth and scope of the job's analysis. Here, we will choose one time job and retain the default settings for depth and scope and then click on next. Select any managed data identifiers you want to use and then click on next. Select any custom data identifiers that you want to use and then click on next. Select the allow lists that you created to ignore either predefined text or regex patterns for any objects in the job. Here, we will choose the regex allow list that we created in the previous step and then click on next. Under general settings, enter a name for the job. You can also enter an optional description and assign tags to the job. Once done, click on Next. Review and create the job and then click on Submit. Here, we see that the job was successfully created. Finally, let us review the Macy findings before and after applying allow lists. In the navigation pane of the Amazon Macy summary page, select Jobs. Here, we see two sensitive data discovery jobs. As the names indicate, the first one 
does not include the allow lists. Select it and click on show results and then show findings to view the findings of the scan. Select the finding to view more details. Since there are no allow lists configured, Macy creates findings for both names and United States Social Security numbers or SSNs which were observed within the data. Returning to the jobs page, the second one is a sensitive data discovery job with regex allow lists for United States SSNs. Select it and click on show results and then show findings to view the findings of the scan. Select the finding to view more details. Here we can see the difference in that there are no findings for the SSNs and only the names found in the data are reported as sensitive. Within the finding details, you can also see that Macy has further enhanced the detection and reporting of full names of S3 objects by updating the machine learning models to extract additional context from file headers and attributes. It is important to note that for any existing jobs that you have configured in your AWS account, prior to the Macy Allow List feature being released, you will need to recreate those jobs and reference the Allow Lists you want the job to use. This is only required if you want to have existing jobs use Allow Lists. To clean up the resources and avoid any additional costs, Remove all the S3 buckets containing the sample data and the allow lists and finally turn off Amazon Macy if you enabled it for the purpose of this demonstration. Here are some helpful links. Refer to the blog post for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the above demonstration. Refer to the Amazon Macy user guide to learn more about allow lists for Macy jobs. In this video, we walk through how to create, manage and use Macy allow lists with your Macy jobs. Reducing Macy false positive findings can help your security team to efficiently identify and protect sensitive data within your AWS environment. Hope you found this demo useful and happy building on AWS.